Good morning, traders. This is Frank Charlie with MF Global coming to you from the Chicago Board of Trade. Tuesday morning, October 11th with early calls in the grains. In the overnight markets, uh, corn finished the session steady. Uh, soybeans 13 to 15 better and wheat 3 to 5 better. In the outside markets, it's a risk off day. Look, the dollar's up, the treasuries are up, those are those safe havens. And you can see from day to day, yesterday I was saying it's risk on, today it's risk off. Um, and also yesterday I'd like to point out to you, um, well, at the risk of sounding like a politician, I misspoke. Um, the crop progress report and the weekly export inspections are delayed to be released today due to the Columbus Day holiday yesterday. So we did have a bit of a thinner uh, trading session yesterday, a semi-holiday we'll call it. Um, also tomorrow we have the USDA monthly report where we could see some uh, revisions to the last uh, quarterly stocks report that we had at the end of September. Now, uh, for the most part, we're looking for slight increases in production, something that may offset um, you know, the loss of acres due to you know, the late planting and, and uh, rough uh, hot weather that we had in July. Now, you ask yourself how much of this is factored in. If we're looking for increases, that might be the reason why we're down. It is possible that we get some bullish surprises, but this is what the market's looking for. Um, I tend to believe that we're going to see uh, corn yields closer uh, to 150 bushels per acre, that is, uh, much less than what we started out looking for, upwards of 157 or so, but it's much better than the low end we saw of 145. Um, soybeans looking for a bump up in uh, yield also uh, closer to you know 42 or 43 uh, bushels per acre. Now yesterday uh, corn uh, had a bit of a rally retraced to that uh, 618, 620 area and the bulls have to be disappointed that once again the corn fails to sustain rallies um, early in the day we put those highs in, but at the end of the day, we were down around the 604, 605 area. So um, while we, we did close slightly better on the day, um, it's disappointing that the market's not able to hold those rallies, at least for the bulls. Now, um, we did have outside market support, so that, that further adds to the disappointment. Without um, that outside market support, the grains are going to have a much harder time um, you know, recovering right now. This, again, to me, is nothing more than uh, a continuation of this uh, bear trend. Markets don't go straight up. They don't go straight down. Markets are definitely technically oversold. The short-term trend is still down. Bounces are to be expected. But um, in order for me to believe that the grain markets are going to keep going, I'd have to see corn uh, close above 630. In fact, you know, for the trend reversal point, it's closer to 655, 657 area. But a close above 630, and I start to feel like, okay, maybe we did put a bottom in. Um, in the soybeans, that level would be, you know, a close above 1206. But again, we don't see a trend reversal technically unless we get above that 1277 area. These are long way from where we are right now um, in the wheat. Um, we need to see a close above 637 and the trend reversal points all the way up at 685. So right now short term trends remain down. At some point, sure, the bullish fundamentals will come back, demand picks up because prices are down. Um, uh, you know, supply tightness, you know, comes to the forefront again. Global economic growth. Uh, leads us to believe then that things are going better. But right now, that's not the case. We don't need to see prices move higher just yet. So, you know, hold on. Try and play that trend. If you have any questions, you're looking for some strategies or some support, feel free. Give me a call. 866-231-7811. And as always, remember that trading commodity futures does involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for everyone.